On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at this 2020 Specialized Cirrus X. This is a new version of the Specialized Cirrus lineup, and it's Specialized attempt to make an even better do-it-all hybrid. So before we take a look at this bike, be sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. But let's go ahead and get into this bike. So the Specialized Cirrus has been around for a long time. And in fact, the Cirrus itself started out as a road bike way back in the day. Now, modern day Cirrus has been a fitness hybrid, so something designed around commuting or a great bike to be able to get some fitness or ride with your kids, that sort of thing. And then they've had a model called the Specialized Cross Trail, which has been a front suspension, wider tire, dual sport hybrid. Well, Specialized has bridged the gap with the Cirrus X because this Cirrus X is packing some very big and beefy tires, but it still has a rigid fork and it's actually pretty dang light, which allows this bike to bridge that gap really well. Now in 2019, they came out with a Cirrus X Carbon, which I've got linked down uh, in the description below. But that particular bike was sort of an upgrade on their current carbon frame set. Whereas this particular bike is purpose built and designed for these much larger tires. Now, because we're talking about tires first, it's important to mention that the Cirrus 2.0 comes with Pathfinder Sport tires. Now these Pathfinder Sport tires are in a 700 by 42 C. You can see they still have a little bit of clearance, but it's gonna be a very big and beefy tire, but it runs a nice center line smooth down the center and a little bit of treading to the side of the tires, which is gonna allow this to be a pretty nice setup for roads or some gravel situation. But honestly, I think it would make an awesome bike as an all around commuter, because with those bigger tires, you're not gonna have to worry about potholes and bumps nearly as much. Now, of course, the bike is gonna be set up with rack and fender mounts. It does have a spot for a kickstand, so you can still get one of those if you want. But the real neat thing about the Cirrus X lineup is actually gonna be the drivetrain. So you'll notice this is only gonna be running a single ring up front. And the beauty with a single ring is that it's gonna be a lot less complicated. There's only one shifter to deal with and most of your drivetrain problems come from the front derailleur. So in this particular case, the bike is set up with a 40 tooth narrow wide chain ring on these forged aluminum crank arms, which go in to a square taper 68 millimeter threaded bottom bracket. But the drivetrain goes back to the MicroShift Advent eight speed drivetrain. Now I've got another video linked down in the description of the MicroShift Advent nine speed mountain bike parts that you see on the Rockhopper and Pitch 1X bikes. But this is an eight speed version. It's non-clutch, so it's got a traditional derailleur. A little extra tension to help make sure the chain doesn't hop off, but it's gonna be running an 1142 eight speed cassette. So that means with this 40 tooth up front and that 1142 out back, you're gonna have tons of drivetrain range. It makes for a really nice shifting setup with this micro shift advent eight speed shifter. And the shifter itself does have an indicator so you can see what gear you're in. It's pretty easy actuation, just thumb and index finger. And to slow the bike down, you're gonna be running these Promax F1 hydraulic disc brakes. So these are a flat mount disc brake. They're running 160 millimeter rotors front and rear, and it makes for a super clean cockpit. You can see just only a few cables, which makes this pretty nice to look at. The front fork is gonna be set up as a steel fork. It's inch and an eighth steer tube. It is quick release. And a really neat thing I like about it is it's actually gonna come set up with tire pressures. So that way you can get your tire pressure on these big old tires set up to exactly what you'd want. And again, I mean, it's hard to see on camera, but having a 42 tire looks very voluminous compared to the traditional tires you would see on a fitness bike. Now the frame is aluminum. This is what they call their A1 premium aluminum. 
It's got internal cable routing, which makes for a really sleek look. You'll see the seat stay and the top tube are separated, which if you guys have watched some of my videos, you'd know that that means that it's gonna help with some of the compliance and the comfort of this bike. The handlebar position is relatively upright, which should allow you to see over cars, be able to look around, that sort of thing. It's got an aluminum seat post with a specialized bridge saddle, which is pretty comfortable. And then it's running an aluminum cockpit with this specialized stem that's going to a stout mini 15 millimeter rise handlebar. The last thing to mention about this bike is gonna be the wheel set carrying those larger tires. So the wheel set on this particular bike is running 700C double walled alloy rims. These alloy rims are 32 hole. They're 22 millimeters deep and they're a 21 millimeter internal width. And that wider internal width is gonna give a little extra durability, but it's also giving a little bit more support for these big tires. And an often overlooked thing that I really like Specialized has done, a Schrader valve. That means you can use a standard pump, uh, something from the gas station, that sort of thing, making this a really nice bike if this is your one to be able to get out and ride. So now that we've taken a look at this bike, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The actual weight of the Cirrus X 2.0 in a size medium comes in and weighs 26.92 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Specialized Cirrus X. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. While you're at it, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this bike, as well as drop a thumbs up. It really lets me know you enjoyed the video.